Welcome to the Design Master Electrical RT video tutorial series. This series will show you how to create a one line diagram, modify panels and other distribution equipment, manage branch circuits, calculate fault and voltage drop, perform selective coordination, and update the project customization. If you'd like to follow along, links to the written tutorial and project files can be found in the description below. This video covers creating a one-line diagram. Topics include inserting existing panels and transformers, creating new panels, modifying the layout and graphics, and inserting the feeder schedule. Let's get started. To create the one-line diagram, we need to use a drafting view like the one provided in this project. A scale of 1 to 12 is recommended. To insert existing equipment on the diagram, run the Insert Link command. In Design Master Electrical RT, devices that distribute power, such as panels and transformers, are collectively referred to as distribution equipment. This tutorial only works with the devices in this project, but the concepts carry over to other devices. Select Util. Set the one-line diagram graphic to Utility Transformer and press the OK button. Specify a point on the drafting view to insert the graphic. Run the Insert Link command again. Select MDP. Set the graphic to Switchboard, Horizontal, Fed from Top, and press the OK button. Insert the graphic on the drawing, and the feeder to the utility will be drawn automatically. For this diagram, the MDP needs to be a little wider. When you select any of our default panel and switchboard blocks, grips will appear that you can use to resize different parts of the graphic as needed. Run the Insert Link command again. Select Panel P, and press the OK button to insert the panel. Run the Copy Link command. Select Panel P to use the same graphics and feeder configuration. Select Panel E, press the OK button, and insert the panel. Similar to the way Design Master refers to power distribution devices as distribution equipment, end devices such as mechanical equipment and receptacles are referred to as branch circuit devices. These devices can be added to the one-line diagram as well. Run the Insert Link command, and select the elevator motor. You then need to specify the drafting view you want to use. You can switch to the drafting view and select an object on it, or press Escape to bring up a list. Select One Line Diagram. Check the box to set it as your default drafting view, and press the OK button. Press the OK button again to use the default equipment connection graphic and insert it on the diagram. Take a moment to experiment with the Insert Link and Copy Link commands until you've inserted every piece of distribution equipment. Your diagram should look something like this when you finish. Now that we've inserted all of the existing equipment, let's add a new panel to the system. Run the Insert Create command. Set the callout, level, distribution system, and model family as shown. Then press the OK button. Insert the panel on the drafting view, then select panel DP for the upstream connection. Next, we need to find panel L in the model and move it into place. Run the highlight device command and select the panel. If you select the panel and go to the Electrical Circuits tab, you'll notice the panel is using the distribution system and power connection we specified. Use standard Revit commands to relocate and label the panel. Moving distribution equipment on the diagram works the same way as other Revit entities. The labels will follow. To update or modify a feeder, 
run the feeder draw command to draft it manually, or run the feeder reset command. Then select a starting point, or press escape to have the feeder drafted for you. To make changes to graphics on the diagram, run the add modify graphic command. Select panel P. Change the one line diagram graphic to panel with bus fed from top, and the type to dashed. Then press the OK button. Whenever a device graphic changes, the software will ask if you want the labels to change as well. Select Update Labels to use the default tags and locations for the new graphic. These are standard Revit tags that can be modified using the Properties panel and moved using the grips provided, just like any other tag. Run the Add Modify Graphic command again and select this feeder somewhere between the OCP and Feeder ID graphics. You'll be asked if you want to replace an existing graphic or add a new one. Select Add an Additional Graphic. Set the group to Meter and press the OK button to insert the meter on the feeder. Next, we need to place the meter above the OCP using the Graphic Move command. Select each graphic in either order and their locations will be swapped. Run the Add Modify Graphic command again and select the OCP for panel E. Select Replace Existing OCP Graphic. Set the group to Switch and press the OK button to update the graphic. To create a feeder schedule for the diagram, run the Schedule Insert command. Specify a point on the drafting view to insert the schedule. Run the Edit command and select Panel P. Set the bus size to 225 and press the Exit button to close the dialog box. The labels and feeder ID on the diagram will update automatically. To update the feeder schedule, run the Schedule Insert command again. This concludes Part 1 of the Electrical RT video tutorial series. In the next video, we'll cover modifying distribution equipment and branch circuits.